everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila. Welcome to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you would like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell. Today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite, I don't know how this category is even called, but I'm gonna try to explain it the best I can. Um, I'm gonna talk about a category of perfumes that are really like animal, animalic, like savage, like that smell of sex a little bit, like I don't know how to explain. Basically to me, uh, I would explain, um, you know, notes like oud, musk, leather, basically scents that you could be, that your body could be smelling like naturally and that gives a very sexual vibe. So this is the perfume I'm wearing today. This is by Thierry Mugler. It's one of the... Um, I put you all the links, by the way, in the down bar below. It's called Miroir de Majesté. So this perfume has a kind of a um, Chanel number no. 5 ancient perfume vibe. It has a great lasting power. And it smells really sexy. It smells leathery, it smells like oud, it really smells sexy. Guys, oud to me, I always describe it like this and some of you understand what I mean and some of you are like, she's crazy. There are different sorts of wood, but generally to me oud smells like, you know, when you pass a farm by car and you have the farm scent, it's like this scent but in a very good, sexy version. So yeah, this is wood leather. You know how leather smell when you have a new leather pair of shoes. It smells like that. And it also have this really um, almost mature vibe. I would say that this perfume is better suited for women over 30, but it's really an original perfume. And the packaging it comes in, it comes in like a mirror. It smells vintage, but really like sexual you know what i mean very very good perfume then i have from Thierry Mugler alien wood it's very zikli alien mixed with wood it's very like incensey uh woodyish amberish jasmine oh my god this is just like literally sex in a bottle the lasting power on this one is good plus it's not as good as the original alien but it's very good it smells so amazing of oud jasmine just all of these deep notes um, these two perfumes are orientals animalic orientals then i have from armani privé uh, the perfume that is called cuir noir this smells like a sweet leather, it smells very natural smelling. Like, I mean, like, all of these scents can represent an animal, but do you understand that when you smell a dog, for example, it doesn't smell great, but imagine the smell of like a dog, but good, like of a horse, but in a good version. All of these scents are like animalic scents, but at its, its cleanest state. Guys, if this doesn't make sense, like put it in the down bar below. I'm sure you can explain it better than me. So yeah, this smells like leather. It has notes of wood in it as well. This is kind of a category of perfumes that I don't think much people like, animalic orientals, but uh, its perfumes I really like. They smell great on women and men. I think that all the perfumes I'm recommending today are unisex, so definitely check them out. Yes, the three so far I mentioned to me are totally unisex. Then I have this. This is L'Atelier des Subtiles um, and it's called Eau de Musque. This is a, a collaboration with a Korean K-pop brand, K-pop group. Can I talk today? So this, it smells like a sweet mask. Okay, so this has a really strong bio scent like body odor scent um smells of musk obviously but it's kind of smells like sweat as well i feel like sometimes masks do tend to smell like sweat but i mean you must like this odor not of disgusting sweat that you're like oh my god like smelling someone in the bus and closing your nose like someone like fresh sweat 
Like you just had a run, you come back, you smell of sweat, but the fresh sweat. Because you understand that sweat actually doesn't smell bad. Sweat smells bad only when it dries down and bacteria starts to build up. Okay, so this smells like the stage before and sweet. Uh, I would say also like age-wise, these perfumes to me, perfumes that are um, like animalic orientals are usually more appreciated by more mature women and men. And I don't know why is that. I'm just telling you what it generally is. Um, this one, uh, I think it's kind of the same, but it's different. I think that all of the perfumes I'm going to recommend today are also great for winter. I'm really going in all directions. But let's say that these three, to me, are the same kind of vibe, like or oriental, uh, because they have wood in them as well. And this is another vibe. This is another vibe. And I think that this is even more of a particular vibe than the other three. So yeah. Then I have this. Uh, this is not the original bottle, as you can tell. So this is called Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac. I, I love this perfume. It's great. Like, seriously, it's great. The lasting power is not amazing. And I forgot to say that on this one, like, it's good. It evolves on your skin like crazy. It's good, but it's not amazing. And this one, yeah, it's good, but not amazing, as I was telling. Um, so this smells like all these notes, leather, wood, and with vanilla. This one is the most friendly, kind of customer friendly, because it has the vanilla that tones down all the Arabic, animalic notes. I really like this one. This is like, I would say, an inoffensive animalic perfume because it has the wood, the leather, as I said, that we, I explain you how they smell. And it has vanilla on top, which makes it a great perfume. It smells very original, very, very original. And this one, I would say it's for absolutely everyone, men, women, all ages, like great perfume overall. Then I have L'Ombre des Merveilles from Hermès. So L'Eau des Merveilles, if I'm not mistaken, was the first one that was released. This has the vibe from the Eau des Merveilles. Eau des Merveilles is a summer perfume. It's really kind of like salty. Um, if you know how Eau, Eau de, I don't even know how to explain it. It really had a particular DNA to it. And this is the amber version. This literally smells like a person, like a person would have a natural, very good scent. Well, it lasts absolute ages, and I think this is more on the mature side. I would say, not for me, I think that anyone could get away wearing any perfume that they want, as I say all the time in all my videos since the beginning, but it's true that usually it's gathered more towards a more mature, it really smells like a body scent, like someone would smell amazing. It evolves on your skin, amazing. Lasting power is amazing. It smells of amber, but it have really a skin-like uh, scent. Uh, yeah, and I just absolutely love it. Then, uh, Aqua di Parma Wood. So this one have um, apparently a citrus opening, but for literally half a second, so this is a fresh wood because of the citrus opening. I usually layer this perfume. This is, by the way, Aqua di Parma Wood. And um, I layer it because if I find that a perfume is too boring, like for example, YSL, uh, Opium, I find it really boring, I will layer this with um, Aqua di Parma Wood. I find that Aqua di Parma Wood is almost like, has the unique note of wood. Wood is so strong in it, it's the first note. Obviously, it doesn't have just wood in it. But this is typically the perfume that I would say smells like a poshy, expensive farm where animals don't stink. This is great for layering, wearing uh, by itself. This is to me the ultimate wood perfume where there is like a basic wood. It's fresh wood, unisex. The price is actually not too bad on this one, considering most wood perfumes that are niche are uh, pretty expensive. And this one is the, uh, is the Eau de Cologne Concentré. So it's just concentrated Eau de Cologne. It's not even a perfume. 
like eau de parfum, and it lasts better than this Armani Privé that is actually an eau de parfum. Go figure out, I don't know. So, yeah. I would say if you want to get in this kind of perfumes, the most friendly to me is uh, Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac. Um, I would say that the most extreme of them all is probably Aqua di Parma Oud because it smells really strong of oud. And I would say if you would like to try something to be a little bit adventurous, but uh, not too much, <laughs> I would go into these two, so Alien Wood, that is, is just like amazing. I just opened the new bottle, I already finished one and I have one as a backup or um, Ombre des Merveilles. So this is basically my favorite category of perfumes. To me, they smell of sexiness, like, yeah. <laughs> basically, I feel like these kind of perfumes on men anyway turn me on a lot and i really enjoy wearing them myself because they are really original okay guys look i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching tell me what is your favorite animalic woody leathery musky perfume and yeah sorry for, for saying that musk smells of sweat but for, to some people it actually does so yeah the, this is what it is musk <laughs> Musk smells like sweat, um, wood smells like poshy farms, and uh, leather smells like the leather of dead animals. So yeah, that, these are the three notes that are in these perfumes, and they are called animalic notes. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and activate the notification bell, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.